Hello and welcome to Spin TV's coverage of the Disc Golf Finnish Nationals 2017. I'm Nate Sexton. I'm excited to join you guys, show you some of the incredible disc golf being played in Finland. We got their premier event, the National Championships, some great players, and we got a great course, the Newman Maki Disc Golf Park in Hyvinka, Finland. It's a par 60, 2,342 2, meters, excuse me. This is a heavily wooded course. And as you can see here, we're already through three rounds. We got final round coverage, 10 players within six shots of the lead. Super, super high level competition. And that's just gonna be a, something that's coming in the future in Finland. More and more great players battling it out and getting up there into that position where they actually have a chance to win a national championship. Let's take a look at our lead card. We've got Seppo Paiu, Leo Pironen, Jani Nevela, and Timu Nisinen. All these guys easily within striking distance. Got a few handshakes going around. Everybody wants to say good luck. At this moment, get ready to play what's gonna be a pretty intense round. Obviously, you know, this is the United States Championship the same that same pressure that you that we American players are going to feel at the United States Championship this is the national championship really really big win if you can get it Seppo starting us off on this par 4 going driver and he turns it over a bit Looks like Leo may be opting with the mid-range, trying to hit the landing zone, minimize the skip. As you can see here, Leo is a Discmania team player. Seppo throws for Prodigy Europe. That looks like it'll work nicely. Stays out of the woods. Here's Yanni. For those of you who haven't heard of Jan, I, I believe he's unsponsored still. Uh, that should change fairly soon, I would think, with the level of play he's showing us here. But he's only been playing disc golf five years. He's been playing in big, big competitions for two years. So, really a skilled player. I have not yet had the chance to play with him. And Timu Nisanen, big throwing left-handed player, just 23 years old. All these guys are young. Uh, he plays for Latitude 64, and he's got a big arm, and he's going to take some cool lines being left-handed. He can access some places that most players aren't really looking at. Looks like the wind's picking up a little bit as well. Timu's trying to keep this thing perfectly straight, and look at it go. Very nice, right in the landing zone. I'm guessing an overstable mid-range for Seppo, trying to move left, get up to the green. Not quite, just knocked down. And Yanni a little early. Looks like it got a fortunate second kick to not go into those woods. Oh, and Leo hits the one big tree in the middle. This course was designed and opened in uh, 2015, designed by UC Maresma. A really tough professional level course. As you can see here, just starting you off on the first hole with a really long tunnel. There's a nice shot, right to the basket. And look at Timu's drive, giving him the straight open look. Oh, a little bit of a bounce off, off of the other disc, but that'll be no problem. Leo most likely a P2 right off the pole. And Yanni with a long jump putt, not really probably looking to make that, just put it in position, get out with his par. This is Timu for the birdie. Nicely done. Oh, he's even they even noticed the uh 
the small move there when a disc is moved by another disc coming in it's a group decision to replace the disc where it uh, where it originally was so if you do happen to see that happen as seppo did he's smartly getting in there All right, hole two, 112 meters, bending to the right. Little bit of out of bounds, but hopefully not coming into play for these guys. We've got Timu taking the lone birdie on the first hole, moving into a tie for second place. Going with the big hyzer up over the top. And it looks like he's left himself a putt. Nice shot. Timu is, uh, was third place at the European Championships last year. Bronze medalist, one of his bigger achievements yet. He's still young in the sport, obviously. Seppo with the turnover, also landing in that 10 meter, 12 meter range. And Leo with a similar route. Seppo and Leo are two of the great young Finnish players. Seppo only 22, Finnish champion in 2011 at just 16 years old. And then Leo, 23 currently, reigning European and Finnish champion from 2016 as well as a 2012 Finnish championship. Looks like Yane was just hung up there. May have a tricky shot going with the forehand. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like he's done it perfectly, out and around, missing all the trees. Leo playing a layup there, getting close. See if Seppo can hit a bonus putt here. Oh, good effort. A nice gallery as well. Nowhere has better disc golf fans than Finland. I'm not afraid to say that. Oh, the nose got down a little bit for Timu. Maybe a little bit of headwind. Looks like everybody's going to be taking par here. A casual flip of the disc from Timu. Hole three, 178 meter par four. Out of bounds very early left and also late right. See if this looks like a good shape, this hole for a lefty, if Timu gets aggressive here. Which it looks like he is doing. I think he made contact with some trees, but I don't think he's going to be disappointed with that. That was a pretty long shot. The way the fairway moves, a little bit better for the lefty to really get a ton of distance, it looks like to me. But that is the perfect safe play. Gentle hyzer right into the landing zone. And Leo absolutely matches him. Just a few meters behind Seppo's disc. Another similar looking line from Yanni. Right next to him. So that's obviously the righty landing zone. Leo swings out a wide forehand. Really nicely done. Seppo with the turnover, also right there. And looks like Yanni will try to follow Leo's line a little bit wider and hyzer the disc in. He hit a tree, but I think he's still putting. Timu with the long drive. 
couple trees to get around. Goes with the wide Anheuser. Perfect. Oh man, great bid from Yanni. 14, 15 meters away, he was able to hit some chain. Nice birdie there from Leo. And I think we might see a couple birdies here. It looks like these guys are starting to heat up. Nicely done by Seppo to retain the lead. And Timu jams it in. Hole four, dead straight, 107 meter par three. Just gotta hit the tunnel. Timu two under through the first three, making a little bit of a charge. See if he can keep it going here. Doesn't look like it. That wasn't his best shot, a little bit low, and it's taken a pretty good kick to the right. We'll see how tricky that, that lie ends up being. Tepo needs to sneak a little bit, and that's fine. Have an opportunity for birdie. And Leo also getting just a little bit sneaky. Similar result. He should have a kind of a test or putt left. I don't think they're quite meaning to take that wide route, but... It's not punishing them too badly. Let's see how easily Timu can get out of here. It looks like these little saplings might be a problem. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of forced his line. A little bit low. Hell of a pressure putt to try to save his par. Wow, look at Yanni from 20 meters maybe. Maybe around the tree. He nails that putt. Incredible shot. Definitely got to spin that back. Wow, it looked like it just air bouncing around. Beautiful shot. Timu will have to settle for a bogey. And Seppo just a little bit wide right. And Leo is in for a share of the lead. Two birdies, par for Seppo, bogey for Timu. And we move to hole five. 86 meter par three, bending slightly to the left. Leo going with a soft hyzer. A little deep of the pin. Yane takes a nice little tree kick at the end there. Kind of kept him a little closer to the basket than he could have been. Oh wow, Seppo off the pole, gallery approves. And Timu showing us another rarely seen route, I'm sure. Going way over the top. I could not tell exactly where that disc landed, but the camera's pointing towards the basket, so that's a good sign. Nice putt again. Yanni's charging, and, and Timu must have been very, very close. I must have just missed that disc slicing down right next to the basket. Another good birdie from Leo. Timu just firing those putts in really, really aggressive style. Great against the wind. 
And look at that, a star frame for the group. That's what the lead group does on an 86 meter hull. Hole six, par four, 211 meters, long, long hole through the woods, out of bounds on the left side. Still a tie at the top between Seppo and Leo. Leo with a big turnover, just catches a tree. Didn't quite get the carry he's hoping for, but hopefully, oh no, he's even actually found the out of bounds. I was worried it was gonna be close. Really, really unfortunate kick. That looked very nice. Turning the corner, avoiding the trees. Also in play, tough to tell what the angle will be like for the second shot. Opportunity for a huge hyzer here from Timu. Assuming he got over those little saplings, should be fine. Wow, look how close he was to being inbounds. Looks to be out by just a, just a very, very small amount, just a few inches. Oh shoot, Leo t makes contact with another tree. He's gonna have to get back in the game or this could end up being a pretty big number. Seppo comes to rest. Another tester putt, I looked look, look to me like 10 to 15 meters from the basket. Emu trying to find his way through these trees with another hyzer. Look at this. He has parked the hole. Beautiful shot. And Yane really putting his drive in a perfect spot. That looks like a makeable putt just behind the tree. He may have to straddle. Leo trying to get off of this hole. Looks like he's going to be able to do that. Maybe get away with just single bogey. Seppo for birdie from quite a distance. Wow! I think 15 meters was an understatement. I think we're pushing 20 meters there. Another huge putt. Similar to the one that Yanni made a few holes ago. Yanni just a little high th on that attempt. Oh, and Leo with another miscue. This hole's really bit him, and Seppo making that huge birdie. It's going to be a three stroke swing between our, what well, were our co leaders. Timu playing the hole fantastically. No stress birdie there. Hole 7, 125 meter par 3. Bending to the left. OB on the right. And Seppo finds himself now with a two stroke lead over both Yane and Timu. Seppo's hyzer just ticks one of the trees. Emu going with a big turnover. And he hits maybe the exact same tree. Looks like Yanni is finding his way through. Right to the basket. Looks like he may be within 10 meters there. I love the landscape of Finland, all the rocks, all the pines and birches and different trees. Some of the times I've played there, also there'll be blueberries growing on the ground right on the course. Really a fun place to play disc golf if you ever get the chance. It's fun when you play like that, especially when you're Leo and you're putting it 
two meters from the basket, then it really gets fun. Seppo finding his way out. Great throw. Stand still. Heiser. Looked like he had some trees really obstructing his swing. Really well done. Kamu with a routine up shot. Oh man. Yanni from around 10, 12 meters, just off the chains. Oh no. Hard to tell if the line was perfect there. Tamu just a little low in the chains and takes an unfortunate kick out. And Leo will take some strokes back with a lone birdie here. Hole 8, 86 meters, hard break to the right. See if we'll see some forehands here. Leo lining one up. Put some good height under it, giving it some room to carry. Nicely thrown, and he'll have an opportunity for birdie. Seppo with a similar type of shot, a little bit better result. Yanni going with a standstill forehand. Looks like it may have come up just a little early, but if it fought through, there might be a putt over there. Tamu will not be happy with that. Just caught some trees and he's going to have a very tricky putt. These kind of shots are so difficult because you, you want to make it, but in the back of your mind there's always the, the fear of hitting one of the very, very early trees and ending up with a bogey. So he's really got to focus here, hit his line. Wow, fantastic shot, able to hit not only the first gap, but keep the height under the disc, throw it with enough force to make the shot, a beautiful birdie. Leo is well in for birdie. And Seppo is in. And yeah, it looks like Yane did kind of, if he what, maybe got a little bit sneaky through those trees, but fantastic spot to land okay hole nine 175 meter par four that moves to the right I'm gonna see some turnover mid ranges most likely try to find the landing zone perhaps a couple forehands as well I always like to see those is that too far to the right maybe yes he just barely misses the corner catches that birch tree Seppo playing the big aggressive turnover. Looks like he might be trying to cut the corner. I can't tell if he likes it. The fin's not famous for showing a lot of emotion. They're very controlled on the course. That looks like it'll be tough with a hole that's moving right. When you're on the right side rough, you really have no opportunity to make a good shot because you're going to be pinned in. That looks pretty much ideal, right to the corner. Leo's got to go with the standstill spike hyzer, looks like. Up and over the trees, trying to find the fairway on the backside. We'll have to see where that ended up. Looks like Yanni actually cut through a little bit, better than I thought, to where at least he has a place to stand and throw a shot. He's also going to cut the corner with a big hyzer. Wow. Perfect. Right to the basket. Seppo also lining up the hyzer with these low trees. That often makes a lot of sense if you have the power. Go up and over. Just got to make sure you throw it high enough so you don't get caught 
way back in the woods somewhere like that might have been. Short forehand shot right to the basket from Leo. Timu make it with a drive that good makes the hole look very, very easy. And Seppo with a tricky shot here. Oh man, good effort. Just off the yellow band. Yanni with a great birdie after a drive that I didn't think looked very good. A really great second shot right to the basket. Easy birdie. Timu with playing the hole perfectly. Leo takes par. Seppo also will take a par. And that's going to conclude the front nine. We've got Seppo with a one stroke lead over Yane, two strokes over Leo and Timu. I want to thank Innova Champion for supporting the event. I want to thank Spin TV for the coverage. I hope you guys tune back in catch us on the back nine see the finish see who takes down this national championship really excited to be part of this commentary i'm nate sexton and i will see you guys for the back nine